Hello everybody and welcome to another Atlas video. Today I am going to do arguably one of my most favorite things to do in Atlas, which is to set sail and actually get out on the ocean, which means we need to build a schooner. I already have the little ramshackle sloop over here called the First Chance, but I really wanted to build a custom schooner so that I can get it going the way I want for when we go and farm ships of the damned. So first thing we're gonna do to do this is go into our smithy and build a small shipyard. I already have most of the materials I think I'm gonna need. I might need to do some farming, but I won't make you guys sit through that. So anyway, I'm going to make sure that this water is deep enough, which it is for a small shipyard. Um, I've made the, oh, George wants to come with me. I've made the mistake a few times of building a shipyard where it's too shallow um, and I launched a galleon whoops oh no now they're all gonna follow me no they're not okay and I launched a galleon from it and it took some damage luckily it didn't sink but I have heard some horror stories of people launching ships in water that is too shallow and having the whole thing destroyed so anyway we're gonna go ahead and put this here I think this should be deep enough yeah, this is perfect. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and build a schooner here. And to do that, we open the inventory and we see that a schooner is going to require those materials, fiber, metal, thatch, and wood. So I'm going to get this loaded up. And for this playthrough, um, as you all know, I'm in a single player version of the game, so I'm not going to worry too much about putting all of the extra um, armoring and everything on this initial ship when I do end up facing stronger enemies, I might end up putting the armor on it, um, but right now I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. There are actually some really good tutorials online um, on YouTube that you can find as far as armoring up your ship, but I'm not going to go through that here. Just going to focus on getting the bare bones down, getting some sails on it, and then eventually we're going to have to make our way back to the free port to buy our crew. And we do have the gold from the pirate camp, so that was probably the best thing that we got out of the pirate camp. Okay, so we've got our metal in here, and now we can make the bare bones of our ship, which we now have right here. Next part is going to be adding all of the pieces that go around the edges and throw a little bit of creative flair on it. It's one of my favorite parts of Atlas actually is the shipbuilding and then the sailing. I'd say those are my two favorite things that the game does really well. A schooner needs medium ship deck, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one on. And then we can load up on the medium wood planks so we can craft three of those. And I'm assuming we're going to be missing metal fibers. Okay, so I need to go out and farm some fibers, but we can go ahead and attach these really quickly. Uh, can I even make... Yeah, and I can make one more deck, which we will also need. There's just something I really like about the fact that Atlas does let you pretty much customize every aspect of your ship. Uh, most other games don't really do that, that I know of. Um, that's one of the main reasons I think that I still enjoy playing the game. Alright, so now we have both of the decks in. That's basically what the ship is going to look like. We just have to fill out the outer parts. Um, it's not going to be fancy, but I'm going to try and make it look cool. I don't usually like putting cannons below deck on a schooner. I like having them all up on the back. I know it doesn't look realistic, but it seems to be the usual thing to do as kiting ships of the damned is probably the easiest way of killing them. Unless you have super powerful cannons, you can just roll up next to them and pop them one time and then they're down. And there are tons of ways to build these ships. It's not to say that one way is right and one way is wrong because different people will play better with different types of ships. So I suggest you just have fun with it and find what you think is most entertaining to do as far as ship builds go. There are some pretty creative ones out there. Um, when I ran private servers for Atlas, we had some awesome ship builders that were able to make some pretty cool um, battle ships. Uh, a few people had battle sloops that were able to take on most of the things that galleons and brigs could take on, so that was pretty cool. Just need a few more panels. And we'll be good to go. 
Now be careful if you place paneling over another panel, sometimes it will eat the panel that you have in your inventory. Um, I think that's a bit of a bug. Let me hop in the water here, cool down. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Hopefully there are no sharks in this little outlet here. I don't think there would be. And there are ways to dye your ship, paint it, I guess, instead of dyeing it, you would call it. But yeah, you can paint your ship. You can change the type of sails. I'm hoping that the developers are going to continue to add ways that we can customize our ships since it's such a strong point of the game. Back um, in the developer stream earlier this year, they stated that they're looking at uh, new types of ships, so I'm really excited to see how that turns out. Oh wow, I actually didn't have any left over. I thought I would have a few pieces left over so that I could take them with me when we go sailing because rule of thumb is you always keep a few extra planks on hand just in case you crash into... Okay, speaking of crashing into something, I just realized... Oh my gosh, you guys, wait a minute. No, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'll just have to avoid it. <laughs> There's a little sandbank out there. <laughs> oh, why didn't I? Oh, whatever. Whatever. We'll be fine. This is so this is so funny. Stuff like this always happens. I try to be good. I look for the deepest part of the water and then I fail to realize that there's a sandbank right there that's probably going to end up crashing us when we launch. So hopefully it's a nice quiet launch and not uh yeah, no, not one that's going to sink us. But anyway, next we should probably put the sails in before we finish building the rest of it. I like to get the sails down before I put the rest of the ceiling tiles in. You use regular ceiling tiles to build the top deck of most of the ships, by the way. So let's see what our sails need. What we need for our sails. We have medium speed sails, medium handling sails, small speed sail, and small handling sail. I think I'm going to go with the medium handling, first of all. So we need fibers, hide, metal, and wood. Okay. So another thing to consider when placing sails is that each type of ship has a numerical value for the type of sail it can take. So like, for example, this little schooner could not take three large sails, but it could take a few small sails or even a medium sail plus a small sail, something like that. So this is going to be our medium handling sail. I think I'm going to put it here. And then we also have our medium speed sail, which I do like putting kind of towards the front so that we have a lot of room. Whoops, that's not where I wanted it to go. Okay, well, whatever. That's where it's going to have to go. Um, so now we can go get some stairs and fill in the rest of the ceiling tiles. So as you can see, I am trying to put in a small speed sail here, but I can't because it says required sail units. I need our one and the current ship sail units is 3.4 out of four. So I would have to have a sail with smaller than, uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 or smaller to fit here. And there simply aren't any. So for now, I have what I can put on my ship. Although I could have gone with different options, this is what I decided to go with. All right, so we fill in the blanks here pretty much with these wooden ceiling tiles that you would use from the normal wooden building kit. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put the stairs yet, so I'm gonna leave quite a few places open. So I need to go get more. I also need to go get more water uh, let me drop these ceiling pieces here so that um, I'm not weighed down while I go looking for water. It still has not rained. Uh, if you hit H, you can see that this is a western tropics island. I'm not sure what the rates are like for rain here, but it has not rained. But I'm going to run up here and do the little water trick. You lay down on the ground uh, when you find a grassy area and you should be able to get water. I don't know if there will be any here. Yeah, there is. Okay. So this is just going to have to do. We're going to have to be very careful about sailing without water. That's a big no-no. It's another thing you should always have with you is a water barrel on board that hopefully would have some water in it. Or you can hope to catch water while you're out on the sea, although I don't really recommend it. Because Atlas is like Murphy's Law, if something might go wrong or could go wrong, it probably will go wrong. Oop, I don't want to fall down there. Okay. 
Oh, I forgot my building pieces. Okay, I will leave one spot for a staircase back here. And there are two types of stairs that I like to use. It's either the wooden staircase or the roof the roof tiles. They have an option to turn into like an actual staircase. Pretty sure those are the only two options we have right now. Come on. Okay, so if you open up the staircase menu and you hit T, it will take you down to stairs. And you simply put one there. And I'm also going to put one at the bow. That way. I think that's good. And we leveled up. So, so far so good. This has been pretty quick. It's taken me about uh, one in-game day to collect all the resources and build this so far. Granted, I am on three times harvesting, so that's why if you're playing on an official server, it's going to take way longer than that. But next up is going to be putting in the cabin up here. All right, I'm going to be using the wood walls to make our cabin. Uh, the cabin pieces don't always fit so well. As in, they don't conform perfectly to the sides of the ships. There are some types of ships where the walls fit a little bit better than the others. Um, I'm not going to get too worried about it, though. Just going to be happy that I have somewhere to take cover in case of a cyclone. Or some kind of nasty attack. So we'll just build it around this way. I'll put a nice window there. And wait for daytime to do the rest because I don't like building in dark. And I like using these staircases from the wooden building kit. I think they're cute. And I like putting like a little platform up top above the doorway. And if you hit T and uh, Q, you can change the way the staircase is oriented. I'll get the tiles up here. And something I do when it looks like this, when you don't quite want the whole thing to be out there, is you can put a little catwalk here. So, you know, gives you the impression that you're still walking on an actual ceiling tile, but it's catwalk. And I do fill in these back corners. It kind of overlaps. This is what I mean by the pieces don't always, like, mesh well. You can see there's overlap in the back. I wish they could make those conform. It's not that big of a deal, but it would be nice to make stuff look just a little bit better. I don't need to be too terribly picky about it, though. So here's the top. We have our little staircases. And I'm going to end up putting the steering wheel up there, the helm. In here will probably be the bed. A tip about bed placement, do not put it right in the very back of your ship because that's where Ship of the Damned will be aiming if you're kiting them. So uh, it's likely that your bed might blow up and then if you die you might have to respawn on an island as opposed to back on your ship. All right, here's where I set up how I get my cannons on the back. Um, I build half walls on the sides and there are ways to expand the back to where you can have like nine cannons back there, but I'm just going to keep it simple for this first build. I put half walls back here. And then I take ceiling tiles and put those ceiling tiles on top of these half walls. And that's then the platform for my cannons. And I can fit like six, I think, very well up here without them colliding into each other or actually hitting the ship. And this is where more of the um, roofing pieces come in handy because you can make stairs for your NPCs to get up to. Oh, I need half stairs here. You can make little half stairs so that your NPCs can actually make their way up to your cannons. <laughs> and then on the edges, um, I have a little trick I do with the uh, ladders. So I take... Oh, this is perfect. I have two ceiling tiles. Okay. So I take these and I turn them into triangle ceiling pieces and I put one on each side. And then I hang the ladders down from there. Uh, you'll probably see as you play through the game that ladders are not really friendly to Atlas. They're not very user friendly. Um, but otherwise, I just put railings along the sides.
I'm uh, short one, darn it. But anyway, that's more or less how it looks. Next big feat is going to be to get some ladders on this thing, get the cannons in the back, and then we will set sail for Freeport where hopefully we will pick up crew and hopefully it'll be a very uneventful journey. Oh my gosh, it started raining. Oh, this is perfect. Wait a minute, I need to get a barrel on here. Dang it. Oh, please stay raining. Please stay raining. Uh, we'll put this bad boy right here. Open it up there. Okay. Now we will be all set when we set sail. Okay, so here's the little ladder thing I was telling you about. I put them uh, hanging down here. For some reason it doesn't want to snap to where I want it to snap to. Oh my gosh, come on. I clearly need more coffee for this. I guess we'll just put it in the back. It's fine. Oh, now it wants to snap? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We'll just extend it from this one. It should extend to that. There we go. Okay. Wow. That was a struggle. Um, two should be enough to hit the water line. So I'm going to go ahead and climb up the ladder and we'll hop over to the next side. Normally, as you can see, you can attach these like in the middle and in the front. There's little attach points, but sometimes they're really hard to climb up. Um, I'll put one on each side just in case. The ladders tend to get stuck on the side of the ship, so a little bit troublesome. See our water filling up nicely here. 722 out of 4,000. Yeah, that's a few sips of water. That's not so bad. Ooh, actually, I need to fill up my water skin while I have this out. If you just hold your water skin out in the rain and click the hot bar, it'll it'll fill it right up. So that's good. Now normally I would put preserving bags and all of that stuff on the ship. But we don't have salt, so that's not gonna matter anyway. I have not found salt yet, so I'm actually not going to worry about preserving bags. We're going to go straight to the Freeport where we'll be able to hunt a bunch of stuff that will give us food anyway. And I still need to be keeping my eye out for some veggies. Alright, so also, I was going to put cannons on the ship now, but we have a small bit of a problem. The island that we're on right now gives copper. And in order to turn copper into ingots to make cannons, we need saps. And unfortunately, there are no saps on this island. Yeah, so as you can see, cannons need 28 alloy, um, which we're not going to be able to make here. So we're just going to have to start off without cannons. And um, we'll check and see what metals are on the actual Freeport, and then we will go from there. But we do need a ship's resource box that's very important so that you can repair. If you have a repair mallet, you can put all of the resources in the resource box and run around repairing stuff as you go. Okay, I think this is everything we need for now to get going. It's very bare bones. Oop, gotta close the water. If you leave the lids open, the water will evaporate. But we do have enough water in there for one journey. Um... We're going to be going unarmed, but that's okay. Okay, I'm also going to put a campfire right behind the uh, steering wheel because it does get cold sometimes, and it's really easy to just throw some wood in here or whatever kind of... Um, of course, I don't have any, but whatever kind of lighter you need, and then you can turn it on while you're sailing, and you won't die from freezing, so I'm going to do that. Okay, it is morning. We've got all the pigs on the ship. And it is time to set sail. It looks like we're not blocked by our pig's view. Be careful if you put something really close to the back of your steering wheel, it can block the view. So what we're going to do is release ship and we're going to call it the second chance. It didn't sink upon launch, so that's good. Okay. So 
I think we are ready to go. I'm just going to put down the handling sail a little bit. Well, up, technically. And then get back up on the steering wheel so that we hopefully don't crash into that chunk of land right in front of us. Okay. This is good. Whew, I thought we were doomed there for a second. Alright, now let's open up our atlas. What is that? It's a dead man array. Okay. Well, let's open up our atlas and see which direction we are headed. We should be headed... Well, we gotta go up a little bit to get out of the shallows, but we're gonna take a sharp right and head back across the line of this wonderfully drawn little uh, graphic here and go straight back to the free port from which we came to pick up our crew. It is pretty tricky. Oh no, it gets very shallow here, but we made it. Okay. If there were rocks there, that would have been a bad deal. Um, it does get pretty tricky without having a crew, because with a crew, you can tell them to control the sails, and they'll do it. So they can change the direction, they can unfurl the sails, they can furl the sails, they make it way easier. But anyway, our ship has a level, so if you hit F while you're at the steering wheel, you can open up your ship's levels, and I'm not sure what I'm going to put it in to begin with. We can have up to 14 crew members, so that's not really a trouble. Um, I think I'm going to put it into sturdiness, because I really don't want this thing to sink if I make a stupid mistake, which is likely. Okay, so now we can take a hard right, and we can head across, and into the other zone. And this is what's great about Atlas, is that it really does make you feel like you're out in the open ocean because of the grid system it has. There are a lot of downsides to the grid system, like the fact that you actually have to cross over, but the load times usually aren't that long if you have an average PC. Um, sometimes there is some lag and you can crash onto some stuff on the other side, so I like the idea behind it, but maybe not the best implementation. Um, the other downside as a private server host is it's extremely expensive to host your own servers unless you have your own setup at home with dedicated computers for each grid. Otherwise, it's just, it's, it's really expensive. Um, I had a four grid Atlas server and it was uh, 13 per grid, so that added up pretty quickly. I wanted to do more, but it just wasn't possible and probably won't be for quite a while. I did really enjoy making the custom maps though, so that is something I'd like to do when more content is released for Atlas or when the developers make one of those big changes that they were talking about. So definitely keeping myself open to that, but for now I think single player is the way to go. It lets me experience the full Atlas. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to get on that pig. Please don't knock me off the boat. Okay. Whew, that's the dangers of traveling with pigs, huh? <laughs> But yeah, I think this lets me experience the full fun of the Atlas Ocean without having to worry about the cost of a huge, huge server grid. The sailing is definitely, for me, the best part of Atlas because you don't see it too much with uh, views like this, graphics like this. I mean, they're not the best graphics, but when you look at most other sailing games, things just don't compare. Oh, wait, actually, I could be getting stuff. I could be, oh, it's too hard to put the sails up and down without a crew. When we get crew, we can worry about gathering crates. I do have a grappling hook, so I would be able to grapple that, but I'm not as good at most at um, doing it while moving, so I'm not going to bother. But anyway, I think that Atlas offers such a nice time on the ocean for the most part. There are only some really stressy moments every now and then if you like run into Ship of the Damned and stuff like that, but otherwise, I mean, this is just so relaxing to do as opposed to being on a landmass the whole time. So I really think Atlas has that going for them, and I'm hoping that the developers really take that on in the future, and they make it into more, more sea content, more things we can do out on the water, as opposed to being on land and just grinding on land. Um, there are a few features that we can do, like picking up these crates here that I'm probably going to run over, um, you know, diving underwater, the ship of the damned, but that's really about it right now. And, uh... I just hope that the game will be successful, and I think it will be if they keep adding to the water portion of it. The sea, the open ocean, the sailing. And I think that's the plan based on the live stream that they did not too long ago. 
so I'm always excited for that. But yeah, I'll fast forward here until we get to the Freeport, and then we can conclude the video by hiring some NPCs and naming them and stuff like that. I think something's a little screwy with the time in this game. It's already uh, 5.55. Does it mean in the morning? That's so weird because when we set sail it was like 8 a.m. Huh. I guess it is morning because the sun is rising. So crossing the border took time? Was that always a thing? <laughs> I don't remember that. But anyway, when we come into the free port here, I'm just going to use the drop the anchor option and hope that I don't crash because it's going to be way too hard for me to steer and put the sails up or down at the same time. So hopefully that goes well. Hopefully I don't crash. We shall see. So a trick I use to zoom out is to hold the right click button on your mouse. You will zoom out and you can look around for rocks and things like that. So it's a little bit easier to see, especially if you're sailing solo. So it looks like we might have a good way in here. All right, I'm getting ready to, oh my gosh, there are rocks like right there. Oh, turn, 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 turn. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Anchor, okay, Whew. <laughs> that was close. To anchor, you hit X, by the way. So let me put this sail up. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, this is so bad. We're gonna crash, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. See, okay, so this is part of the uh, difficulty of not having your own crew. Maybe I shouldn't have fiddled with the sails. Okay, we're gonna anchor right here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna swim ashore because, uh... <sighs> oh God. And we're gonna furl this up, which is S. I accidentally clicked W the last time, not S. So yeah, that's why it's a little tricky without crew, but we figured it out. And it's a free port, so there shouldn't be anything that's gonna try and eat me here. All right, so the NPC you buy crew from is down here. The crew recruiter, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm such a moron, I left my gold on the ship. Okay, I brought 20 gold coins with me. So we can recruit four. It takes five gold coin. Oh, we got some little ones. Interesting looking pirates. Um, wait, where's the fourth one? Oh, up there. Okay. Well, anyway, they're all following me now and they will follow you back. Uh, assuming they don't get stuck on stuff. Kind of like the pigs when we were loading them up onto the ship earlier. So anyway, I'm going to get these guys back to shore. And while I do that, I'm going to sign off. I hope you enjoyed this video of me building up my schooner and setting sail yet again. Hopefully in the next video, I will be able to clear up some stuff about a system in the game, which no one really finds that enjoyable, but we all have to live with. Um, as well as getting some... Where's number four? We lost one already. Okay, let's go back and find him. Um, anyway, I'll talk about that system and I'll also talk about getting some cannons built. So hopefully you will also join me for that. But in the meantime, feel free to check out the description box for um, a list of all of my socials, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, and my blog, which I did a new post on today. Why is he not following me? Hello, Bob the Mighty. Here we go. So, as always, I hope you all are enjoying your games, and I hope you are enjoying this Atlas series. I know I'm certainly having a lot of fun messing around and doing it. So, I will see you all in the next one. I hope you are enjoying your games, as always.